time of year again that makes most clarinetists cringe. Now I'm talking about the first clarinet part to sleigh ride. <laughs> All jokes aside, in today's video we'll be talking about how to master the high notes, otherwise known as the altissimo register of the clarinet. Here's the structure for this video so you can jump around to the parts that interest you. We'll start with fingerings and then move to some helpful tips on how to get the altissimo register to speak or respond. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two to this video coming out next week where I'll talk about how to play the high notes above altissimo G. I've also made a PDF to go along with this video and you can download it. It will be in the pinned comment at the top of this video and also in the description box if you're interested and includes a lot of alternate fingerings. Here are some tips to try if you can't get the high notes to speak. So playing high notes on clarinet can be really challenging, but with the right technique and practice, you can achieve a clear and controlled sound in the upper register. Here are some tips to help you play high notes on the clarinet. Number one, proper embouchure. So maintain a firm and focused embouchure. Imagine saying the vowel E or he as you play, keeping the corners firm and your jaw steady. Avoid biting down on the mouthpiece. That's a really common mistake a lot of people make because they feel like they're losing control, so they bite into the mouthpiece, and that essentially dampens the reed from vibrating, and those notes just won't speak. Number two, supported air. So use a strong supported airflow. Engage your diaphragm and push a fast stream of air through the instrument. The airspeed is crucial to producing clear high notes. One thing you can try is using a straw and blow through it like a, pick a spot on the wall and pretend that you're like kind of blowing the air towards that spot on the wall that will help sort of um, give you the right idea of how much air you need to be supporting through the instrument for the high notes especially. Number three uh, throat and tongue position so keep your throat open and the tongue high in the mouth so when you think of the throat open if you think of fogging a mirror like you want to keep the throat from closing off the air. That's a really common problem a lot of people make, with, especially with playing the high notes. When you cut off your throat like that with the air, those high notes, they're, they're just not going to speak. So you can think of the syllable E, uh, like I said, like fogging a mirror also helps keep your throat open, right? And this helps create a smaller air column, allowing you to hit the higher pitches. Another thing you can try is taking in a bit more mouthpiece than you're used to. So if I were to play like a high E, let's say, fingered like that, and I just took in a little bit of mouthpiece, I would get this sort of sound. Like it barely speaks, but if I take in what I'm used to taking in, it's a lot more clear. Uh, let me try a different note, like high G. The more mouthpiece I take in, the more stable the note becomes. Um, I would just say be a little bit um, cautious with this technique because you don't want to be moving the mouthpiece in and out of your mouth depending on what register of the clarinet you're in. So you need to find a happy medium where you can get all the notes to speak well with just um, anchoring the mouthpiece in, I would say, the same place. I I've worked on it a lot where I can pretty much play through all the registers seamlessly without changing much in my embouchure. So that's definitely one technique you could um, sort of play around with to find the right 
uh, embouchure and mouthpiece position for you. Next thing I would try would be your reed strength. Your reed strength can affect um, the altissimo notes if they're not coming out. Uh, those notes, they just won't speak if your reed is too soft. That's one, one major thing I often see with uh, students is they can't get those high notes out because the reed is just too soft. So you can try switching to a different reed in your reed case or out of a reed box. And if that doesn't work, I would recommend going up one half strength more from the current reed strength you're at. So if you're playing on a reed strength of three, you could try going up to the strength of three and a half and so on and so forth. Next is your finger technique. So make sure you're playing the right fingering. Sometimes it helps to play in front of a mirror when you're learning new fingerings. Um, ensure that your finger technique is quick and precise. So practice scales and exercises in the high register to develop finger dexterity and coordination. Practice long tones. So practicing long tones in the upper register helps to build strength and control. Start with the notes you find most comfortable and gradually expand to higher pitches. Overtones and harmonics. So maybe I should make a video about how to do this, but working on your overtones and harmonics by playing like a low note on clarinet and gradually moving your fingers to produce higher pitches. So you can start, uh, we'll start on the low E, which is finger like this. Then you can kind of flick the register key. So you get the B, that's a 12th above that. What I'm doing there is I'm flicking the register key between the two pitches and then I'm letting go the register key. So I'm essentially fingering an E and the B is speaking. So I'll try that again. And if you can do that, you're sort of building up the strength to be able to work on your overtone series. Next would be your gradual range expansion. So one easy way to do this is to play your scales and then start expanding the range of it. So if I were to do C major and just um, simply, let's see, I'll start in the second octave right in here. So when I'm expanding my range, I'm going to take that scale and I'm going to go a note above high C. So so I went C all the way up to D and then back down and then you can keep building upon it. So I'll go to E this time as my top note. So you, you can play around with that to really expand your range and that will really help um, indoctrinate those high notes or the fingerings in there. Another thing you can try is just working on your ear training. So develop your ear by listening to Professional clarinetists play in the high register. Try to mimic their tone and technique and pay attention to the nuances of their sound. So a lot of times, as younger students, you'll hear in the high notes, that it's kind of a harsh sound in the upper register. Like kind of that sound where their, their tongue is dipping down and you get sort of that eh sound to um, their tone. But... If you can kind of relax and not be so panicked about those high notes, just start to listen to the tone quality. You just want to keep a nice steady stream and make it sound almost, I would say, a beautiful clarinet tone up there is almost, you know, ethereal would be the word I would, I would try to go for, right? You don't want something harsh. Um, there are times when you want a harsh sound, but I would say most of the time the clarinet can naturally do it <laughs> on its own. So your job is to make as nice a sound as you can up there. And lastly, I would say seek guidance if you need it. Um, go to a clarinet teacher. Sometimes it could just be like your mouthpiece is out of date. It's just not helping you play those high notes. It could be, you know, if you're trying a different ligature, that could also help, you know, but I would go to the teacher because they would have the, you know, the know-how to tell you what to try for your specific needs. So remember that playing high notes on clarinet requires a lot of patience and consistent practice. So take breaks when you need to, to avoid fatigue and just, you know, getting discouraged from playing those high notes. 
uh, with time and dedication, you'll become more comfortable and confident with the upper register on the clarinet. Before I close out this video, I want to hear from you. So what are your go-to exercises for conquering those high notes? Share your favorites in the comments below and let's learn from each other. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss part two to this video. Thanks again. Oh,